All right, this is the Beat Ladies. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's Charlie Mar Beauty. Early baby lady, you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. Okay, hey, it's Charlie Mar Beauty. I'm here today with a new beat. I'm gonna try to do something quick and get out the door. I'm gonna go door dash with my husband. So, something cute and collective. All right, let's get into it. Love me, though, right? You want something gone at you, huh? Okay, so I'm going in with the Ruby Kiss Dark Brown Lip Pencil to do my brows. And then we're going to go ahead and clean those up with some concealer. Now, the Maybelline Eyebrow Pencil and the Juvie's Place Lip Pencil, those lasted me one week. So I don't know how I feel about spending, what, $18 on two pencils that last a week versus my beauty supply uh, pencils that last me a whole month. Let me know what you ladies use and what you think. Okay, so this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. So lately it's been taking me anywhere between 15 and 25 minutes to do my brows. Let me know how long it takes you ladies to do your brows. I'm definitely gonna be ordering me some new brushes off of Amazon. Now that I am confident in my technique and my makeup, um, I need brushes for specific things between brows, foundation, concealer, the whole nine. So I'll let you guys know what type of brushes I'll be getting here shortly. Between my neighbor and my sister-in-law, they both are like on me they're like you need to be doing other people's makeup there's people out there doing makeup that are not as good as you and they're charging you know and making good money doing makeup so i'm gonna put myself out there you guys and start doing other people's makeup i really started doing makeup to learn for myself i didn't start doing makeup to do for others but we're gonna give it a try i'm all for the hustle <laughs> all right this is la girl pro concealer in the shade warm honey and we're gonna do our base for our eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going in with Queen Vibes. This is that canary yellow, orange, whatever you wanna call it. Then I'm going in with Safari. It's like a purplish pink color. And then outside of that, I'm going in with Delta Blue. And then we're gonna do Dashiki for the back, you know, the transitional color you normally do first. I did everything a little bit backwards today, but the look still, it still gave. It still gave, okay? <laughs> Let me know what you ladies think. I feel like when I'm not trying to accomplish a look and I'm just going with the flow, laying them colors down, that those would be the most beautiful looks. Looks that you don't even intentionally try to do, okay? And the colors on this eyeshadow look at the end of the day we're so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful Okay, so this is where I went in with dashiki to do my little transitional color. Um, like I said, you always go into a transitional color first, but hey, it still worked out. When it was all done and said, said and done, basically I went back over each color when I was done with my makeup. Because sometimes they fade out, you know, in between you doing your makeup and then 
doing your setting spray. Some people cover their eyes before they do their setting spray, but I spray the whole face. I make sure I'm soaked, okay? I want that makeup to come together and to last throughout the day. Um, these little tutorials that we put out, it looks like the look is quick, but I can promise you, I always take at least an hour to complete my makeup look. And honestly, most of the work goes into your eyes. If you're not down for all the colors and you just want soft glam, then hey, you can get a makeup look done in 30, 45 minutes. But it always takes me an hour plus to do my makeup, okay? And now I'm going on with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey to clean up that extra eyeshadow. Okay, so we're going under the eye, our nose, our forehead, our upper lip, and our reverse contour our cheek below our cheekbones um, to highlight our face with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. Okay. I wish it stayed this bright, but after I blend it out, it gives more of like a mud kind of a pastel pink look to me. I end up going and highlighting that with some more concealer later, but we'll get there. And then I went in um, with my Wet Beauty Blender. This is by Real Techniques. Okay, so on my eyelids, I did the shade Fawn. You could clearly tell that this is Warm Honey, okay? So this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer Warm Honey. I went in and highlighted my T-zone area. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and set that with our setting powder. Okay, I'm going in with the Morphe setting powder in the shade Banana Rich. And we're setting all our highlighted areas, our T-zone basically. Okay, so I'm contouring my nose and I'm gonna contour the rest of my face with the Charlotte Tillsbury Bronzer in the shade Deep. Okay, so I'm going in with the NW45 Max Studio Fix Foundation Powder um, to basically go over all my highlighted areas and the fine lines of where you can see the makeup transitioning from one shade to the other. You want to have a solid look at the end of the day. And you want, you want your colors to transition from one color to the other, but you don't want it like visible. So you go over it with your foundation powder uh, to smooth everything out, okay? Okay, so I'm going in with the Morphe Setting Spray, and I take a bath in my spray. It is not necessary for you to use that much spray, but I like it wet, wet. I want everything to soak in, okay? All right. Okay. 
I'm going in with the Sephora Blush Poppy um, to do our blush today, okay? Okay, I'm gonna curl my hair and I'll be back. Hey, it's Charlie Marviti. I'm here with a new beat. I want you ladies to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think.